Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a video on which wheel cleaner you should use. Like which is the best one? Which one fits your your car? Why you should use it? And all that stuff. So let's get started. So right here, I have my favorite one right here. This is what I use on cars that I get to that have been neglected for a long period of time. This is uh, Nano Skin Speedy Bright. This is a wheel acid. So take into account that this is like one of the harshest chemicals you're gonna use to clean a wheel. But when you get to this situation where you have grime in here, like watch as I swipe my finger, you get that layer of brake dust and I'll show you guys. We'll use these products on this wheel. And I'll show you how ineffective these are when doing something like this that needs to be taken care of. This is a car that's been neglected for the last probably three months at this point since the last time this was actually washed. So you get that amount of brake dust in there. You're gonna need a actual cleaner to get it out. Where I'm gonna show you how effective the wheel acid could be in this situation. Now again, if you're maintaining your car once a week, every two weeks, maybe in a month, these products aren't bad. These are accessible at the store, easy to use, not gonna damage anything. These on the other hand, you have to be very careful. Um, it can stain different coatings, but on, if the, the wheels aren't finished properly, use some raw aluminum, stuff like that, this is going to stain. But, there's nothing that's going to be more effective than this when it comes to literally just spraying it on and rinsing it off. This is the type of cleaner for you. Now again, benefits and disadvantages to this product. Whereas something like this, that's, they're not going to cause any harm. These are also way better wheel, like a tire cleaner. Because these are basically, these are degreasers. You could just use a degreaser. They're a diluted degreaser that's, you know, made for cleaning wheels. So, like when you have browning and stuff, these are literally going to be the best. I have a whole video comparing these two. Um, I like the, I just like the Meguiar's better. Um, it's got a better bottle. And again, for what you're paying for these, your, these two products alone cost what this costs or cost almost what this costs like these two get you to like two thirds the way of what this costs but as you can see this dilutes four to one so this makes four gallons of wheel cleaner so again when you start buying in bulk um, even as a consumer I would do that because the price difference is going to be insane so I'm going to split this wheel up it's going to be very simple. I'm going to do this half with nano skin and then I'll show you what these two can do on various spots on this side. I don't know, maybe we'll split it like, uh, like three ways. Um, and I'll just show you guys when I go to spray it, what the differences are and stuff like that. So, let's get started. So what I'm going to do on this back wheel again, as I've shown you guys before, see that little mark that I'm doing in here? Get a little finger swipe, let's do a little bit more. So, if you see that, that's all the brake dust that's on this wheel. So, this half, I'm going to hit with the Meguiar's. Just do about half. Get it on there. And then this half will work the armor off. And again, it was one of my grapes with this one. It feels a lot more watery than the filming, but I just want to show you the difference. So we're going to let these dwell for about a minute or so. And then what I'll do is up on the front wheel, I'll use the nano skin and uh, again, finger swipe in there so you can see it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit this with the nano skin and then show you the difference. And then actually what I'm going to do is do one more wheel with just water just to show you all the difference. So that way you can see. Um, not the best comparison because I wish I could have the same wheel three times over. Um, 
Actually, I'm gonna do the nano skin back here on this dirty wheel because um, the backs look dirtier than the front. Um, that's kind of funny. So we'll do that, and then I'll come in and I'll show you. So the test, the control will be this one. But as you see, the finger swipe, so that way we can see the difference. So let's get started. So now that I let everything soak, I'm going to hit it with the pressure. here it did a really good job but as you can tell it knocked off some of the dirt but not all of it if you came in and agitated it it would look great so again these wheel cleaners do work they're just going to require more what i call mechanical um, involvement so more using our hand and stuff so let's go do the other side so now i'm going to apply uh, don't mind the bottle. This is a uh, nano skin wheel acid. You're gonna really need a tougher bottle um, So one of the other tips I like to do too actually if you can see right away, it's already That's just where it's rated right but this stuff It's hazardous so wear a mask So or spray it sideways and try not to breathe But if you can tell, just from where you sprayed it, it already has a brake dust coming off. So let's give that like 30 seconds and then we'll power wash it off. Now that the wheel acid's been on there for a minute, we'll hit it with the pressure. Wash. So if we notice the difference with the wheel acid is how much more work it puts in. So like up here, again, right? It's hard to hit that. So like right here, what I'll do though is I'll uh, move the car around and then I'll do it. But that's what I mean. The difference with a wheel acid, like this is finger, like clean as could be. So wheel acids are just gonna make such great work of the brake dust. And again, also too, if the wheel, if you have brake dust that you cannot swipe at, that you've hit it with other wheel cleaners and it won't work, if it doesn't come off with the wheel acid, then you're going to be going to like polishing the wheel or it's a little too far gone to save. But that's the difference. Wheel acids make cleaning up such a breeze. So let me show you the other side so you can get, so I can show you the control with the one of the wheels up front. So again, I guess showed you guys this wheel, so we're literally just going to use a power washer to it. And you're going to see it's probably to get 80% of this brake dust off. It's just going to take more water, more time, and you're still going to have brake dust less, less left behind. So let me show you real quick. Okay, like you can see, it did not do squat. Still, if I agitated it, it would have been better. Um, it would have actually worked. So, I mean, literally, I have to finger swipe it. But there's literally, didn't do anything. There's still 
a massive amount of dirt still left over from yeah so you need some sort of cleaner so like i'll show you back here right this wheel had the non-wheel eyes and as you can tell it did a really good job but you would have to really sit there and spray it um no matter what so i mean a vast improvement but still in there with like the comparison like to over here the vast difference it's huge so when you use a wheel acid how much cleaner the wheel gets so i want to say thank you for watching my video and again there's different wheel cleaners for every type of wheel like i said if you just use like the mcguire's or that armor all it's going to do a pretty good job if the car has been maintained but if it's been neglected for any period of time that's why you really want to use something that's going to get in there not saying to use a wheel acid every time, but it gives you a good baseline. As you can see that wheel now on the back side, that passenger side, how much cleaner that was with just spraying, not even agitating it. That's why I like wheel acid for specific wheels, like black gloss painted wheels, OEM of course. Love using wheel acids on them because if the least, the less you get to touch them, the better. Just because wheel brushes going in and out are just gonna cause um, scratching over time. And I wanna try and avoid that as much as possible. Flat back wheels too, like the ones on the Macan. Great with the wheel acid. Again, test, be careful, because if it's not OEM paint, then they might show different results. Um, because if there's not a protective finish on it, then you might end up damaging it. So, very careful. I wouldn't use it on like painted, like uh, like aftermarket wheels, OEM wheels, because they're powder coated. That's what I call them painted, but they're, they're really powder, powder coated. So I'd use it on those. But as you can see the difference, night and day it makes it a breeze it is terrible for your health though like it will make you cough like ugh. just read the thing on the back it says it's a hazard for your health so cover something mask something try not to breathe that stuff in but if you can see the difference it's like night and day like power washing duh doesn't do anything on these wheels where if you hit it with a nice wheel as boom it's gone that's what i mean that's why it's like why not use that because if you have the opportunity to use it use it because of the difference it's going to make so if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell up at the top. And I thank you so much for watching. If you want to comment anything down below, any questions, comments, anything, links to everything will be in the top comment. I'll pin it there. Also in the description box, you'll be able to find this stuff. And also, if you have any re recommendations of wheel cleaners you like, I'd love to hear it. I'm always looking for new products, always trying, because at the end of the day, we're all still learning. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.